It's a great turnout out here. Uh, a lot of people, I like to see, uh, it's a great fan base to see that support us. So we just out here just interacting, just getting to know the people that actually, that actually support us and be at every game cheering for us. So it's a, it's a good opportunity. I actually had, had the opportunity to sit at, sit at the table with a couple of season ticket holders. So, you know, just talking, talking back and forth with them. Uh, they've been ticket holders for about uh, 30 years now. So um, it's just great. Uh, it's just great. They were ticket holders before I was even a player. So they've been Marquette through and through. How many times did you go on the bull? Did I say about six. Six times already? Yeah. Is that your favorite right here? Yep. <laughs> what else have you tried out? Have you tried um, this bouncy thing right here? I pound. Yeah, I tried that and the basketball and ping pong. What are you doing? The cow contest and bull ride. Beautiful, you know, we get a chance to see the fans again, once again. It's a, a new start to the season. You know, we come out, socialize, it's, it's beautiful weather outside. And, you know, we're going to have the ring ceremony, and, you know, it's real nice. For me, for everybody within our program, including our current players, that we make sure that we acknowledge those guys as publicly, as often as possible, because what they've been able to do has paved the way to give us a chance to be able to do what we do. And I don't think that it's fair to them or their families and all the people that went involved with their work that we don't acknowledge them. In the nicest weather in the four years that we've had Buzz and Barbecue, you guys agree with that, right? Unbelievable. When I woke up this morning, I, I uh, had my quiet time, prayed, and uh, spent a little time with my kids before I had to leave. And I walked outside, and uh, I was driving to work, and I was like, there's not a cloud in the sky. Thanks, God. I appreciate it. So thank you guys really a lot for coming. The last thing that I want to say, because uh, I started talking later than I was supposed to, is you guys were surprised that we went to the Sweet 16. If you weren't, stand up. And don't lie. There were like three people out of 2,500 that stood up that said that they were surprised. I don't believe that. They were. It was not just you guys, because I know that you guys really care about our program to be here. I got it really fast. The Rigan Company was surprised too. Every year we've always given our kids their ring for going to the NCAA tournament. And the ring company's justification for the reason why we can't present them tonight is they were surprised that we were a Sweet 16. <laughs> and I know that that's kind of funny, but it really is not because we don't get to acknowledge the guys that were a part of that. It's happened three times since 1977. I know most of you guys, unless you played here, were born after 1977. But that's an unbelievable accomplishment. Most of our uh, current team are all right there. The only guys, uh, there's Rob Prozina, Joe Fulce, Darius Johnson Odom, Jamil Wilson, uh, Jay Fowler, Chris O'Toole, Junior Kaduga, Jamel Jones, Andrew Blue is standing behind Chris, Devontae Gardner is standing behind Jamel. Is there anybody on this? Where's Dwight Mikes? Is Dwight here? Dwight's not here. Um, so Dwight's the only one that's not here that played on the team. Is that right? So if you guys, I know you weren't surprised. So everybody, everybody stand up unless you played here in the 50s and 50s.